SSA, that's a slick service announcement. What you're about to view is real, it's raw, and don't let the tears fall from your eyes and the popcorn. That's that extra butter, extra salt. If you can dream it, you can believe it. If you can believe it, you can achieve it. <laughs> I'm a baller, so that's why my mama named me Nick. All these bottles should have called me Chris. C4 coming town, running down tick tick. But DJ the did chapter three. You got them peasants surrounding G. Ain't no way you be your majesty. Tragedy, have a seat. My chair for royalty. Sipping passion tea with that pinky up like a sorority. So much for loyalty. Chicken feel like your right hand. But swear, dare drop your fingers quick for the right man in the nice stand. And I'm the king in this nice hand. And I ain't got no jokers in my neck, so can't keep jokers in my truck. Taking shots like I spit shoot. I need bulletproof boost. They say money don't buy you no happiness. Good thing my new seat's so waterproof. Need it boost or the shoes. Always pick one season. Feel like biggie when so uh what was your first impression of brandon when you guys first met and when you encountered him uh i didn't think he was a student because he looked young but um i know he had came over there and talked to me for a few minutes and i was like you still in high school what you doing up here he was like i go here i'm like yeah. Okay. That's about it. He's pretty cool. Real cool dude. You know. I mean no harm. The first time I met Brandon, came through the calf, working the calf. He was just being foolish. Cracking jokes. Okay, I like this cat. <laughs> Funny dude. Well he came out with these and outside in front of the calf. Eleven o'clock hour, lunch hour. And he rolled up. Rolled up fast too, just rolled up, man. He was just anxious, anxious about what we was doing. Kept asking questions, man, where y'all from, all this and that. So, you know, everybody come asking questions, but he actually stuck around. All right, I almost hit you. <laughs> so, um, um, he met me and my brother, DJ, and, um, uh, my brother, he's a comedian, and um, Brandon told him that he was a comedian. So my brother told me that he was a comedian. I ain't believe it. But I'm like, what you, what you, what you mean you're a comedian? You know what I'm saying? But that's that's when you realize that you really can't put nothing past nobody. Yeah. Man, cause Brandon came, but first time I heard that man Jank or Joan talk about somebody, man, I was in tears, man. Got on stage, made had the crowd laughing and stuff. Man, my brother, they tell like, bro, we need to uh. We mess with him, you know what I'm saying? He, like, he pretty lit. And then his condition, man, like it's like his condition, don't, it don't even matter. It don't, man. That's what I like about him. That's what I like about him. Condition don't even show. It, like, it, it don't show. Him at all. It don't affect yeah, him at all. Bro. Look, he icy right now. I'm icy, G. You feel me? Icy, yeah. like it's nothing, bro. He be fresh. He came on camera with a fresh, with some fresh J's and some haircut. He been looking oh, better yeah. than mine. I be like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> All right. So how did you come by me to Brandon? We went to the same high school. He used to sell candy, and like he was funny. Like he'd pull up on the girl and be like, "Hey, you need to ride to class." And that we started kicking. It. So what school y'all attended? Well, high school. Well, basically, how I met Brandon was I thought seeing him around campus, I thought he was just one of those kids, those kids with disabilities who were quiet, really ain't say nothing. Um, until I started seeing him during the comedy shows, I didn't even know he was a comedian. So I'm just like, oh man, this this man is a comedian and he got a disability. And I was like, I've never seen that before. So I'm, as I came pre as I became president, I started to develop a relationship with Brandon. 
Lights, camera, action. <laughs> so when you heard about your, your cousin becoming a comedian, what was basically going through your mind or, you know, what you was thinking? Honestly, the first thing that came to my mind, I was like, I got to hear his stuff. Because, like, when we were younger, he would stay roasting me, like, steady. Everybody, full on. I would say something about him, and he'd say about five things back. Pow, 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 pow. <laughs> Instantly. So when I heard him becoming a comedian, I was like, all right, this is going to be good stuff. Like, he going to see somebody in the crowd, he going to point him out, and they, they going to they gonna get their feelings hurt instantly. And they can't say nothing back because can't you can't really say nothing back to him. <laughs> he going to come back with you know anything saying, else, and he yeah. going to come back harder than anybody. Everybody keep the hype going. How does Brandon inspire you in a way? Brandon inspires me. And he inspires me. You know, the quote one says, nothing's impossible. He is an example of it. Nothing's impossible. Despite um, what he's going through and what the fact that he's in a wheelchair, he still fights and still put himself out there. That he's a comedian. He still want to put be involved. Like, no matter what's his flaw, he still a human being still so you still show him the same respect and it mot inspired me to be like hey i have no excuses <laughs> in life for anything because if brandon can do it i can do it if you put your mind to it you can do anything you want to and i feel like that's what he's doing right now just seeing him like this and seeing him fresh fresh as heck chain watch on man that means anybody can get that stuff it don't matter what 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 you got going on and that just gives a lot of people hope and faith for real just it gives me motivation makes me think that I, it doesn't matter what i put my mind to i can do it and doesn't matter what what you got going on in life if as long as you have the strength and you have the faith and the hope to do it you can do it seeing brandon makes me realize you know wake up every morning with a smile on your face you know have no reason you know you're living you're breathing, smile. You know, regardless of what you got going on, you're still living. You know? So what was the best joke you ever told you? I don't think I should say it. It's, it's not appropriate. What was the least best joke? It's still wouldn't be appropriate. <laughs> uh, I woke up and I had a dream uh, about Brandon walking. And I told my grandma, I was like, Granny, I had a dream about Brandon walking. And I sat down in the wheelchair. She said, "What do you mean? That's a good dream. You can't now. You can't walk no more." <laughs> and I looked at her. I was like, "What you mean? Like Brandon can walk now? He can do it. He won't." He was like, "But you can't." And I was like, "Oh." You kind of look like second time my mama, man. Bro, I'm not. Uh, I don't think we'll be cool. My ear is big too. Bro, people been sound up like ten people so I look like a mom. Man, you ever seen that episode of Emma Bone Dots? Oh god. I seen the episode. I look like him. I seen the episode. I look like him? If you put the short shorts on it. Oh no, I ain't putting no short That's shorts it, on. Bro. No, I can't. We bought my eighty six, herpin. That's what I see, bro. You gonna hoop with me? Well I look like. So what are the special things you know about Brandon? Well, one thing I can say that's special about Brandon is that he's very outgoing. He shows a lot of compassion and 100% every day, and he dedicated to everything that he do. I see him make folks laugh, you know. I see him make folks keep going through their day. Uh, you know, uh, we tend to uh, look at people sometimes who are a little different than us. We tend to look at them a little different. You know, you, you talk to Brandon. You know, he'll let you know. Like, he'll make you feel real stupid <laughs> about, you know, looking at him a certain way. So, you know, it, make, it makes me, it made me, you know, look at other people's situations differently. Yeah. So, Brad, so how do you feel about the whole restrictive of Miles, you know, uh, being a comedian, you know, getting out there, getting the word out there? I don't get paid enough. <laughs> I couldn't say it with a straight face. <laughs> Wow, it's a good school though, man, you know. They gave me my first start. They actually told me, uh, 
When I wanted to come, I just said I wanted to be a mascot. They was like, you want to be a mascot? And the rich, I was like, yeah. They was like, we're going to see how serious you is. You, buy, you get your money together to buy your own bear uni uniform and we'll get you a jersey. I bought my uniform and they were like, you serious. So then they put me to another test. Like, yes, they thought I was going to back out. They was like, show up this day, 6.30 in the morning, because we're going to be on the news and we're going to turn your bear suit. I guess they thought I was going to do it. I was up before anybody up here. In my bear suit, fully ready. He was like, well, I guess we got a new mask right now. And ever since then, I just been pushing to show people that no matter your circumstance, you do what you want to do, man. Because whether you're here or not, the world going to keep turning. So ain't a reason to waste your life. So when you're around here, how do you feel? Oh, I know our joke's coming. Every time I see him, if I'm having a bad day, I see Brandon come. I know I'm going to laugh about something. So if you could tell somebody that's watching this video right now that, you know, if they were in Brandon's shoes, you know, what they can do around the campus, what would you tell them? Do whatever you want. Brandon the mascot. <laughs> you can see Brandon in that suit, you already know. It's going down. <laughs> okay. Like I said, man, just like all of us, no matter what his condition is or what else is wrong with him, he's still one of us. It's hard to push that door open, but I found a way myself. And they were like, you sure you don't need no help? No, nah, I got this on my own. I'm a normal person just like y'all. And ever since my freshman year, everybody just been treating me different. And so right now, if I ask somebody to open the door, they're going to look at me and say, no, nah, open it yourself. And that's just how I get along with people. I don't let them pity on me. I do my own thing, man. So you rather for them to treat you in a normal way than any disability way? Yeah, I don't have a disability. You don't at all, you're normal. If you take the DIS off of that word, you left with ability. So and you, you got the, the ability. ability to do whatever you want. Whenever and that wrong want. up here, it's just my legs don't work. Regardless of what you're going through, you know, you can, somebody always has it worse. So you, know, so you can always look, to be thankful for something. Nobody you should always be thankful for something. If you if you want to do it, push yourself to do what you want to do and not what somebody else tells you to do. Because if somebody else is going to tell you to do something and you follow what they say, then that just means you're going to be a follower and not a leader. Be your own leader and do what you want to do. You see me through this documentary. So why you can't do it? Ain't no reason. If you see me here doing you this. You see me doing this today. I just saw the whole movie in one day. About six interviews. So why can't you do it? Just follow your dreams, man. It's really not about what you do, but it's about how you do it. In the perspective of Brandon, you know, anything is possible. Anything you put your mind to is possible. Just scrolling through the campus of miles just gives me the uplifting energy and a certain energy I feel. And the disability that he has, it's really like nothing's there. I really learned a lot from interviews, just from
from the whole day. And what I really learned most importantly, that Brandon is someone special. Brandon is someone you can rely on when you're down. He's always that person just to lift you up when you're crying, when you're sad. important thing you can do anything you put your mind to anything is possible and I know that for sure so respect she's still a lady so we cannot disrespect her she's just looking for connections trying to be the search protect her she's an ordinary date and I'm posted up Lurking thousand miles between you and your winter coat Surfing, what's the purpose for your cause? Nah, I can't serve you nothing, but don't take it personal And I hope you find your person, cause in person is different Keeping distance with the underground, nigga, nigga, nigga. Never know what you'll get from it Boys don't from. play around, spray around, body hit the ground in the playground Like take ton get cardiac arrest from it in the chest from the pains and the strains and the stains like pains in the chest from the times I can even get a text from the knees and I she ain't got a check on me cause I'm on the next mission start skipping cosmos like Timmy and I can't be down to earth wish when I'm up this 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 so if I show my ass blow kisses slick in the building till I'm missing if I'm missing probably missing which you miss you gon' miss I can't miss me cause I glisten and I shimmer like glitter and I'm bent so my crown still tilt this head excuse me